dear friends my dear masters my dear gods welcome to all of you for the holistic wellness day this is a last day of the this batch 11th before commencing the session my sincere pranams to my beloved guruji pramod sipatri ji my great salutations to the beloved grand master mother baba ji all the astral masters all the beloved masters my dear friends my dear masters my dear gods so today our program will be the details of the program first we will be sharing the wisdom of uh, holistic lifestyle part 3 today and thereafter we have we will have a short meditation after that we go for the sharing of experiences okay so this is how we are going to conduct the program today conduct the session today so as we keep on knowing the holistic lifestyle for last two parts part 1 part 2 part 1 on the first saturday part 2 of the holistic lifestyle on second saturday this is the, this is the last uh, last saturday and last day of this uh, session batch 11th okay so let's know about the holistic lifestyle part 3 today right so let's start uh, let's start with the the first the first thing we are going to discuss is what is the natural diet to cure any ailment? Any ailment you take, any disease you take, how do we cure it? Okay, let's understand that. So beginning with, then we'll go into the, again, some more techniques, tips, mudras, acupressure, so many things are there. So that will be the, the first part of today's session. Then in between meditation, at the end, sharing of your journey of this 21 days spiritual journey so we are going to listen to each other right thank you let's start so my dear friends my dear masters my dear gods so to cure any ailment what need to be done what is the kind of diet we need to follow that's very very important okay the best uh, principles need to follow to cure any ailment with respect to the name of the ailment irrespective of the name of the ailment we can follow this diet this will be very useful so please uh, go through this uh, particular points the number one is the best and most important part of detox is enema the enema need to be done okay so this is the first statement i would like to give you so part of the natural diet what is that the best detox part the best important detox in our life day to life enema enema need to be done so anyway, if you don't know also, you can take more details. Anyway, the next part of the, I mean, after this, you will get a detailed description of anima today. And there is also something called abdominal pack, vamana dauti and jalaniti. So these are the things need to be done in order to detoxify our body. Okay, remember this point very carefully. And uh, if you follow the anima, what happens is you can do one day, I mean, seven days to 21 days like this anima. In a, I mean, like uh, continuously seven days, otherwise continuously 21 days also you can follow. What it does is it removes all the, you know, like so-called uh, the toxic metals and toxic uh, toxic things which are already accumulated inside of, inside our body, right? So our body is, is a machine. It's continuously producing some kind of a toxins, some kind of a wastage. So this wastage has to be removed, okay? Generally what happened due to not having a proper diet plan that means uh, we don't have proper so-called fiber component in our food generally whatever food we take right we generally don't uh, uh, care about the fiber component see when there's no proper amount amount of fiber component in the part of the food every day we take how do you get the proper uh, fiber component so we should uh, consume alternate day two days once you know the millets then uh, most of vegetables most of the fruits, isn't it? So these, th these kind of food should be taken more, not like cooked food. See, what will happen, many vegetables and uh, uh, this thing, no? like all the vegetables, if you go on cook, you know, cook to the, to the highest flame, uh, highest temperature you cook, what happened? Inside the vegetables, whatever vitamins and whatever the minerals are there, that will be lost. That will be evaporated. There's no use of eating that kind of food, my dear friends. That's why cooked food, need to be limited to one time in the day not more than one time in the three times of a day night must be always with the go with the raw food like you know raw vegetables salad so something like that by seven seven o'clock something like that so that's always good anyway let, let us go into the details 
so enema is very very important for the, that's called the detoxification of your colon that is large intestine so at the end of the large intestine what of the colon part that is the anus part so wherein so from through which the entire the so called stools are passed out if the stools are not passed out they are stored inside then they generate lot of negative bacteria which will harm the health of the body physical body so in order to detoxify that particular colon part of the physical body what we need to do we need to follow the enema process please note this point okay very very important point now second is simple yoga exercises pranayama meditation is must every day this is a second important point important principle you, you need to remember as a part of natural diet to cure any ailment okay irrespective of ailment very important yoga must be done exercise must be done on a daily basis pranayama has to be done practice meditation must be practice deeper meditation have to practice for example any time any time in the day early morning right otherwise evening time how how to it to be done is you you must follow this sequence first some yoga asanas maybe some surya namaskar some kind of a small stretches we do that let's call exercise then goes to then go to the pranayama then after pranayama go to the meditation that's the sequence you must follow my dear friends okay please do that now third one is air fasting air fasting is very very important i will tell you let me tell you this air fasting will help every person who is even is a patient and is a, you want to cure the disease yes this is a very right fasting air fasting not even water that kind of fasting if possible initially start with 3 hours fasting after waking up then gradually increase to 6 6, 6 hours for example uh, the initially uh, in the beginning days right once you wake up uh, even you don't need to have water but uh, 3 hours you can stay like that okay that's also good after that you can have some dra- water drink water and then uh, i mean anyway morning when you wake up probably the stools and everything you pass out right because uh, the earlier day what was the Uh, the consumption of food everything you have taken that all happened but this first 3 hours of after waking up not taking anything just uh, you know we are taking a breathing only so we are just staying with the fasting and after that maybe drink water whatever like that so gradually you can increase to 6 hour also so then after what happen you can have a green juice okay if at all you have a stools problem not going out right you can do one thing early morning once you wake up do the usha pan usha pan means drink 1 liter of water the water water drinking also i told many times how to drink the water what is the method of drinking water please please follow that okay sit comfortably take sip by sip the water whatever half an hour it take also the usha pan of 1 liter morning early morning 5 o'clock you take it okay so brahma mohurta whenever you wake up so that 1 liter after that your stools will be passed out then you stay like that only don't take any breakfast nothing okay this i'm telling i'm explaining about the this is called intermittent fasting the best intermittent fasting i'm explaining you right now okay so at the maybe at uh, 10 o'clock or so you take a green juice and break your fast that means earlier day 7:30 you finish the break uh, the dinner then you gone to the sleep okay you have gone to the sleep before going to the sleep also remember so always have one if, if you are obese that means you have obesity take one uh, ha, the uh, look warm water one glass of water even if you want if you have any t- constipation stool problem so in the one glass of water add some one spoon of one spoon of uh, tripla churna otherwise one uh, spoon of uh, one teaspoon of you know so called castor oil so mix it so uh, mix it well and then drink and then go to the bed so that's how we need to do okay so when you go to the bed now then what will happen so wake up and then follow this procedure 10 o'clock up to 10 o'clock now you are not eating anything after usha pan no more after usha pan you are not doing anything right stay straight away you are extending your breakfast time breakfast time in the sense like you are not eating anything no solid food at the 10 o'clock you are taking green juice coriander juice ka, different uh, anything any bottle gourd so many other uh, you know this green juice are available otherwise spinach uh, through with the spinach also you can do green juice do any one green juice you take and break the fast then after half an hour gap you give if you want if you want to eat something you eat so you can eat any food which you choose generally you have to use that point of time the proper food so for example uh, you want to eat uh, you know the siridhanya along with something right otherwise just that point of time also you can eat only vegetables that also you can do for example uh, you know the 
this after the green juice what happened no like after the green juice generally i am telling you if you take uh, some fruits or vegetables again that's enough that's a breakfast for you because if any disease i am telling you this is the best way you take that much so after the green juice some vegetables or fruits finish your your breakfast is over now go to the lunch the lunch especially salads garnish with the nuts and seeds better green chutney eat coconut eat coconut you know wet coconut that is that's good for you know getting uh, some good calcium and fats and sprouted moong dal moong the sprouted moong dal thrice in a week you eat thrice in a week three times in a week sprouted moong dal and that too so it, it this sprouted moong dal provide you more protein okay so this is for uh, all this what i told you for lunch you can accommodate so this is good for fullness fullness of you know you need to get pads sufficient pads calcium and uh, so called uh, protein all this will all this will be available with the help of this particular food this is for lunch understood here there is nothing like um, you know there is no kind of a roti chapati rice sabji nothing is there in this this is a lunch now evening snacks around 4 to 5 pm any seasonal fruits sprouts bell soaked dry fruits or any health, healthy balanced snacks like vegetable upma you can take 4 to 5 pm okay even you feel hunger also the hunger will be satisfied okay that point of time and in addition so you can use juices coconut water or dry fruit smoothies in between 4 to 5 pm so this particular time you can do like this right so seasonal fruits are available sprout bell is available soaked dry fruits are there soaked dry nuts right so dry fruits are there that also you can do any healthy balanced snacks uh, snacks you can take definitely along with that any juice coconut water all this also you can take okay so this is good good thing for evening snacks okay now going to the dinner dinner you must finish between 7 to 8 pm at any cost dinner of your choice few recommendations i'll give you for dinner please use please use this so eat anything whatever you are eating with the low oil vegetables not you know too much uh, the oily vegetables should not should not take okay that sabji and along with that grains like millets jowar bajra ragi this you can eat see the with the jowar millets bajra ragi whatever you take uh, whatever you cook some food uh, that mean you know, like main food along with some sabji some vegetable sabji that is enough for the dinner at any cost do not eat wheat sugar based refined oil based refined flour based avoid milk and milk products compulsorily and use only sea salt or sainthava sainthava lavana okay that is very important so this is for dinner my dear friends now by 7 to 8 you are finishing it now the last last point is meditation around 9 pm after dinner 9 pm you must start meditation so as you keep on doing meditation go into the so called the sleep yoga nidra you want to start the yoga nidra after meditation so these are the this is this is a natural diet plan for curing any ailment irrespective of the name of the ailment i just given to you so follow this if anybody is suffering with any disease right only thing a bp patient you know uh, bp sugar patients especially just uh, let them track their values right sugar value bp value let them track if they are okay continue this otherwise little changes you can do so that uh, it will be fine okay and uh, follow this uh, this particular rhythm of uh, food the natural diet plan what i given for 50 days anybody who is suffering from any disease let me tell you 15 days you 50 50 days follow it it will detoxify the entire body and it will cure your disease along with your if at all you are using any uh, tablets medicines no you can take you can continue that no need to stop that if you are taking for a disease you are taking uh, any kind of a tablets no you continue that take this diet plan also proceed along with this okay it will cure your disease for a sure you will come out of the the full illness because this is a best detox facial procedure understand now what is the what are the benefits of this whole holistic lifestyle which we are taught for last uh, two weeks and uh, now this session also let me let me let me give that picture okay it make you very you know it make you feel very happier it increase your energy levels as such right so it will deepen your meditation it help your brain you know it help your brain healthy and uh, having good memory memory power improve the intuitive abilities also improve the concentration attention at any cost helps to maintain the weight you know weight loss especially to maintain the weight factor 
and remove the excess fats from body and improves your metabolism and uh, improve the glow of the skin understand and improve the skin skin elasticity also and enhance the immunity power so these are the greatest benefits of holistic lifestyle my dear friends please follow that whatever so far we discussed so till in the, in the last uh, first session second session and today this must be these can be followed and ensure all these benefits in your day to day life so let's go to the now today's uh, holistic lifestyle part 3 this is part 3 we are now going to start so uh, just now what we finished is the part uh, the part of part 2 only the balance was due so that is covered now the part 3 we are going to start in part 3 we are going to discuss about some techniques especially somebody got you know disease and you want to cure so there are certain uh, mudras or certain uh, you know holistic lifestyle principles methods and also some acupressure techniques with which you can solve lot of day to day issues okay let's uh, go one by one now the first mudra i would like to discuss with you part of the today's holistic lifestyle part 3 is one mudra which will guarantee your heart for 100 years it will guarantee your heart health of the heart for 100 years remember this okay so this mudra is called apana vayu mudra how do how to practice this so let's show the practice of this mudra my dear friends right see the two hands must be clear clean properly no more you know the nails should not be there much nails should not be there so this mudra practice is you have to sit straight and take uh, three to four breaths four breaths breaths long breaths any mudra you, when you are practicing so let me tell you you have to sit comfortably close your eyes and take three four three to four breaths long breath breathe in breathe out okay do that after that you start the mudra now how to place this upon why mudra just see the four this this finger index finger touch the base of the thumb finger and other two finger middle finger ring finger touch the base or touch the tip of the thumb finger and this was tight okay this is see how this is the shape of mudra the shape of mudra is exactly equal to the art art shape now similarly here also in the right hand also mudra must be placed in both hands do like this keep it like this keep on your thighs start practicing when you are practicing if you are free always try to uh, you know sit in silence don't think anything don't do anything just keep on go on observe the breath and do breath on just keep your observation on the breath let the breath going on coming out that you keep observing and then this keep this mudra but this is not a meditation remember not a meditation it just a doing mudra doing mudra and meditation both are different in mudra our the posture of the like you know the particular hand posture is like this this is a different this is a dhyana mudra okay so not this one we are doing this mudra this is for curing some ailments what is the what are those ailments uh, i will explain you clearly so this mudra while you are practicing if you are free be in the silent and practice when you sit in silent mode and practice any mudra will give you 100% results wonderful results fast results if you have if you have no time you are working otherwise you are traveling somewhere that point of time also this mudra can be practiced no issue at all okay after practice practicing this mudra so you have to practice another 10 minutes no 10 minutes for this mudra is called prana mudra see here prana mudra must be practiced for 10 minutes any mudra followed by 10 this prana mudra will work better in in combination but uh, other mudra which i which way which i told you apana vayu mudra is apana vayu mudra or is also called mrata sanjeevani mudra this must be practiced a healthy person can practice minimum 10 minutes per you know, the day the morning and evening any unhealthy person who is having a specific ailment particular ailment must be practicing this mudra for near about 30 to 40 minutes in one go that is morning evening is must if you have time morning afternoon evening so your problem will be cured without you know without any doubt okay so let me tell you this mudra so what are the benefits and uh, you know so in which occasion in which uh, occasion you are going to use this mudra particularly okay this mudra is very very beneficial for heart disease my dear friends heart disease let me tell you this mudra works like a a, a boon a gift for the heart patients anybody who is getting heart attack anybody who is suffering with the you know the kind of a the heart issue heart pain chest pain it gives a quickest relief i'm telling you so let me tell you one example 
in the last one month back uh, near about yeah one month back so one of the officer i met so she was suffering from some stress anxiety lot of anxiety stress and uh, kind of thing and uh, uh, you know so what happened is uh, in her house uh, somebody died she went for a funeral then she got somehow she got stuck with a lot of fear a uh, fear that fear was something she was feeling that you know i uh, at any point of time something may happen to me also she is feeling that kind of you know the inside so that kind of anxiety is going on and she consulted this doctor so many doctors in fact she was telling me but uh, nowhere she is you know getting some kind of relaxation or she is not able to come out of that particular uh, stress inside inside her body now she when 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 i met her i told her i asked her she told me this situation that just before two days only that happened to her and at that point of time when she met me she was in the same condition also in fact then i explained to her this mudra wonderful mudra practice this you will come out come out of it very easily then she started practicing after one week and in even in the recent test day for yesterday also i met she is telling sir wonderful results is there let me tell you within a week time i came out of this problem my problem i am telling you this has worked for one this has worked wonderfully for me i don't know about others but it has worked me wonders i came out of my complete stress whenever i feel now also whenever <clears throat> i get stress or you know uh, some anxiety any kind of fear or a uh, depression something i put this mudra it will immediately i will immediately come out of that particular state of mind this is what the mudra my dear friends is very very important okay now anybody you know who is suffering from heart attack let me tell you put this mudra immediately within 10 to 15 seconds or 16 seconds um, <clears throat> so what will happen is you know within 10 to 15 seconds and let me tell you you will come out of that uh, heart attack issue also so this works like a injection and let me tell you it works like a injection it will it will keep your blood pressure under control full control so that you know the heart problem somebody even if you are somebody got a heart attack he, as a first aid put this mudra go to the hospital also by the time you go to hospital it will come to normal then you will come back it has it has happened many people's case let me tell you and okay now chest pain fatigue sweating everything immediately, immediately reduce okay this mudra removes the heart blocks happened in the blood vessels of the heart you know please remember this and irregular heart beats are corrected controlled okay so this mudra is called mrutya sanjeevani mudra why it is called as mrutya sanjeevani mudra means the person who is at the verge of the death due to heart attack will be saved from that so that's why this is called mrutya sanjeevani mudra it calms excessive sweat in feet and uh, both uh, you know uh, hands so but in case somebody some people are getting lot of sweat in the hands and uh, both hands and legs okay the hands and legs it will be controlled and it is beneficial in curing the acidity remember migraine headache yes it can be corrected and beneficial to re- re- to relieve from you from the toothache any toothache okay and also this mudra can cure rheumatism spondylitis paralysis and parkinson please remember this so this is a wonderful mudra my dear friends now so other thing is so this particular mudra practicing this mudra in some of the, some of the different occasions let me tell you when there is insomnia somebody is not getting sleep properly okay practice this mudra put this mudra like this before sleeping just put this mudra and close your eyes for just 5 minutes that you will get deep sleep proper sleep okay this is very very important and also any any time you have you know like over exertion in the body over stress over exertion then also this mudra you should do to get out of that exertion fatigue you also when there is a pressure any kind of a mental physical pressure so you must practice this mudra to come out of it and also when you are climbing staircase and hills when you are st- climbing staircase uh, you know staircase in the in your apartment or anywhere and also when you are when you are climbing the hills or hill area or when you are climbing stairs and going to some temple put this mudra and walk then you don't get any fatigue okay you don't get any other oxygenation issue like breathing issue nothing will come okay that's a wonderful mudra friends please follow this okay so this was the thing which i would like to discuss now the next uh, next uh, aspect is next, next aspect in our discussion today's class emergency points in acupressure let us let us learn about this it's also wonderful we are no, now emergency points in acupressure what are those for emergency points today we will be teaching you about uh, 
will know about heart attack, epilepsy, and also stroke. These three emergency points, what are those? See, whenever there is an heart attack happen, what is the point which we need to keep operating? As a part of Aku Brother, I am telling. Mudra, I told you already. You can also engage, you can also use this uh, so-called Aku Brother technique also in order to save yourself on the, at the, during the heart attack. Even somebody got heart attack, you are taking to hospital, just go on, press this point. First, you see, whenever heart attack happen, this point need to be keep pressing for first 40 seconds. Very, very important, very critical time. Okay, that first 40 seconds. So in the first, first 40 seconds, this point, go on, go on, press it. It is this point will work like you know uh, massaging the like a cardiac muscles. This works like a cardiac muscles massage. This particular acupressure point when you are pressing. What is that? See here, left and left and right hand, but it is available only in the left hand in the this especially little finger where it is this point. This particular point here. So here did you see this go this one uh, nail is there here this point this corner. This corner, just go on press like this. Press release. Press release. Okay. So if you do this, then uh, you keep pressing it. This point. Hope you understood this particular point. If you keep pressing it and releasing it, like you know, press it, release it. Press it. The person is in the you know is a, is an already got heart attack. Somebody who is behind him, attendee, some attendee or somebody, keep pressing it. Even you are going to ask for no problem. Keep pressing it like this. Further damage of the heart is immediately avoided. Okay. Like this. So keep on pressing for 40, first 40 seconds is very, very, very important. Please do this. Okay. Now, <clears throat> other thing is epilepsy, my dear friends. So epilepsy, what is the point? If somebody got epilepsy and then he is collapsed, like, you know, he is gone into the unconscious state, right? So generally epilepsy, we always see that uh, unconsciousness mode will come. That time, see this point, epilepsy. Press it, release it. Press it, release it. So at least 20 times, right? He can't do, but other people who is, you know, behind him, uh, beside him, they keep on press this point. Then you will, you will wake up, okay, here. Keep like five seconds like this, release it. Keep five seconds, release it. This is the epilepsy point. Okay. Understood. Now the other one is stroke, brain stroke. When the brain stroke happens, what are the emergency points? So we need to take care of it. Let's see here. See, in both hands, same thing, but let me tell, let me explain one hand. The all the tips of the four fingers. In fact, tips of the four fingers, press it ten times. Press it, release it. The front portion, not the back portion. Front portion. Press it, release it. Like the 10 times. Here also, press it, release it. Press it, release it. It's 10 times, all the four fingers. And the other thing is this thumb. This is a portion, head, this is a head portion of our body. All the, our head is connected, to, you know, from this portion, the, all the nerves will go and connect to our, you know, our head. So that's why, here particularly there is a pituitary gland and pineal gland also in this, in this, um, you know, especially in thumb area. So properly press like this, properly press like this, press, release, pull, here to here, go on press, okay, very, very important. So especially person who got this stroke, brain stroke, even you already got it, you want to cure that, practice this daily, okay, daily at least, you know, morning, evening, you spend 10, 10 minutes is enough. See here, another point here. Here, this point. Here, gallbladder is there. Here, gallbladder point. Press it, release it. Press it, release it. Press it, release it. This is a gallbladder point. Finally, finally here, one more point. See here, this is a wrist. Two lines you take it, two lines. Keep your two fingers here. Then locate one point in the middle. This point is called lymph gland point. Press it, release it. Press it. Release it 20 times. Please do this. This will solve your brain stroke problem. These are the emergency points in order to save the life of that person who got attacked with a brain stroke, my dear friends. So hope you understood this, right? So these are the three emergency points we learned part of the emergency techniques, emergency points in acupressure. Now, the next aspect is drinking water, method of drinking, quality of water. 
So this aspect is very, very important, which uh, we could have discussed some extent, but uh, let me discuss little more on this. So what is the purpose of drinking water? So let me recap. So purpose of drinking water is to supply proper minerals to the every, every so-called cell of the body, number one. Number two, in order to have the proper excretion of the body. Number three, number three is proper hydration of the body, proper hydration of the cells. Okay. Number four, the proper digestion of the body. Okay. In order to have the, you know, the good amount of water content in the body, which makes sure that, you know, the blood also will be thin and also the kidneys function also will be better. So that's why purpose of drinking water is this much. Okay. Please remember this. Second, what is the water quality in the society? Yes. Current water source, water quality in the society is bad. So one, two parameters in the water quality you need, you need to take care. In fact, number one, TDS. Number three, number two is pH value. What should be the TDS value? Correct TDS value of a drinking water, suitable drinking water that must be somewhere between 100 and 200, 150, 200. Max to max 200. 100 to 200 is the TDS, the correct drinking water. If it is below that, if it is beyond that, is not a good, it's not suitable for drinking. Remember this. For example, you take mineral water, you buy mineral water bottle in the market, isn't it? So the entire mineral water you take bottle, you go, you bring it to the house and uh, you know measure the TDS. It will be 30 to 50. So that is not a that is not a mineral water at all. What TDS refers is how much amount of minerals are existing within the water. That is the measurement of TDS. See, our body needs all the minerals, magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, and sodium chloride, sodium, sulfur, you know, the all these things, iron, everything. So these minerals are required to be feeding to the body in order to safeguard and in order to protect the health of the, the so-called cells of the body. All the cells of the body is built, you know, using these minerals. They, all the inside chemical reactions happens when these minerals, salts, these are called salts also, are properly available in the proper quantity within our body. Remember this point. Okay. So for that, what happened? Water is the main, water is one of the source to supply the minerals to our physical body. But nowadays, that kind of water is not available. Now you are getting, for example, many people in the cities and everywhere, they get one can water, they get one uh, borewell water, they get one river water. River water you take. River water, of course, there are minerals and everything. Very good minerals will be there. River water is a natural water, which comes from long distances. Okay. So that water you take it to feed it to the U filter. U filter makes sure that it removes the chemicals, odor, uh, and any smell. This will be removed. Bacteria, virus will be removed. And supply you the clean water that you can drink. Okay. But before drinking that water also, let me tell you, you store that water into the so called the especially into the water copper vessel always if you have copper vessel directly okay if you don't have copper vessel take one steel vessel okay after the out, the output of the uv water put into one steel vessel take one small you cut one small piece of uh, copper sheet copper sheet measurement should be like this 3.5 3.5 inch by so 12.5 inch one copper sheet you make it that sheet you make one small hole and have some, some string, some string. So uh, this, uh, with the help of a string, that copper uh, plate, you can in immerse into the water. The water is stored in the steel vessel. But if you have a big, big copper vessel, you can directly put the output of UV filter into the copper itself. But copper vessel to cleaning and all is a tough exercise. Everyday cleaning. See, the copper vessel has to be cleaned every day. Otherwise, that's again going to give you, it is a breeding point for other diseases, my dear friends. So that is why if you don't have copper vessel also, don't worry. So if you have copper vessel, you, you can use it, but the method of cleaning is like this. You take one uh, lemon with a salt, you no know, lemon with the salt, go on, clean all the inside walls of the copper vessel. Once you see, once you use that uh, water, see this uh, UV filter water, you pour into that uh, copper vessel or steel vessel with the copper sheet. This is the method. So it, throughout the night, you have to keep like this, throughout the night. Next day morning, the water, perfect water, structured water, the energy water is ready, ready to use. Ready to use for what? For drinking as well, for drinking as well as for cooking, any, any kind of a dishes and all, you can use the same water. 
So this is the method of you know purification of the water, my dear friends. Natural purification. You must ensure natural purification always. Remember this. Okay. Any kind of water. I am telling you. Let me tell you. Any kind of water. Any kind of water it may be. So at the end, store in the copper vessel and use it. But at the same time, many times you know people go on use the boiling water. Even you are healthy, unhealthy. What you are doing is for the safety purpose, you are always drinking boiling water. Boiled water, so it's not very good. Boiled water is not so helpful. I'm telling you, why? Because if you boil any water, all the minerals and everything will be evaporated. Minerals, everything at that high temperatures, no, that will be melted. Then what is the use of drinking water then? Okay, so it's not water means not just a liquid. You think that is a liquid, but it does lot of wonders after going inside. It supplies all the minerals, all the salts. What I mentioned so far, it will supply to every Cell of the body, cell of the physical body. Remember this. So now, so that's why. So the any water comes out of uh, UV filter, you store into the copper vessel, complete copper vessel, full vessel. Otherwise, store into the steel vessel and put the sheet. The sheet also same thing. Night throughout night you store it like this. Next day morning when you open it, take out that sheet. Again clean that sheet for next uses. For example, next day night again you to do, you have to do the same process, isn't it? So throughout the daytime you can use the same water. Night time again when you are doing it now, before use before doing it again this particular copper plate clean it properly with the lemon with the salt or tamarind tamarind. With the help of that just uh, rub it neatly so that will fresh that will fresh up and anything see copper uh, copper plate ka or copper vessel ka importance is it will you know it will try to attract all the negative things. Whatever it is a smell, it is a bacteria, virus, it is a small particles. It doesn't leave anything. Everything you attract towards it. So that is a correct. That is a special character of the copper. Not only that, copper. Whenever any water in in any water, like you know, once we immerse that copper plate into the water, no steel vessel. So in it comes in contact with the water, right? So then what it does is it releases some electrons into the water, so that. It makes the water energized, friends. That's very important. This is called, and also let me tell you, this, because of the copper, the all the water particles, which basically atoms in the water, they get, they get structural, they get structurized, they get structurized. That means this water becomes a structured water. When you drink that kind of water, when it goes inside, what happens? It serves a great value, my dear friends. It is going to be. A healing water for you. Let me tell you, it's going to be healing water. That is why you observe. So in the olden days, what what used to happen is our our ancient sages and gurus and masters they used to conserve the water in the water vessel only. There is a kamandalam with them. Always they carry one kamandalam. They keep the water in the part of kamandalam in the throughout the night. Next day morning they were they were drinking the water. It means it's not that easy to you know ignore all these all these uh, great methods of our ancient sages, isn't it? So that's why this method is called natural water water purification method, which I told you. Remember, even nowadays RO RO water has come. Even the output of RO, please pour into this uh, so-called uh, copper vessel and use it. But before pouring it, you can do one method to make RO RO water better use for you. What is the method you have to use? See, RO means what? River, river osmosis. What is? What does it do? See, you have borewell. You have any other water comes in, right? In the special apartment complex, you see the RO filter will be pitted in the on the top near to the tank. What do they do? They send the water to RO. The output of RO. What is the output of RO? Zero minerals. See here, zero minerals. Then what is the use of that water? This is called RO. The RO RO output is dead water, zero water. No use of drinking that water, using for anything at all. Okay, maybe it is soft, soft in nature because all the minerals are removed. So the purpose of RO is to remove all the extra minerals. But RO, what it does is it remove every all the minerals. Zero, it makes zero. That is my friends. So before taking out this RO, what you do is take one ten liter of RO output water. Let me tell you, pour into one vessel, maybe a steel vessel. And uh, before feeding the before feeding into RO, you take two liters of non-RO water. That means, see the RO output water you have taken ten liters. I have taken two liters of RO input water. Mix both. Then 
you will get some kind of at least some kind of minerals in it okay you will get some kind of minerals take this water and put into the copper vessel put into the copper vessel so in that point of what happened your water your water will become your water will have minerals your also your water also become structured water both benefits will come with this particular method okay then you can drink that water properly so this is the best way to treat the water my dear friends please remember this now how much water we should drink per day per day so your weight for example your 60 kg 6% of water suppose 60 kg means what 6% means how much 3.6 liter you must drink 3.6 liter per day per from morning to evening morning to evening you must consume that much of water so how what is the method of drinking water yes method of drinking water is very simple morning 1 liter usha pan after that leave one hour before breakfast before breakfast one more glass of water okay any time water drinking will be should be one hour before any food maybe breakfast dinner or lunch whatever so before one hour you must drink not at the time of tea, uh, not at the time of eating the food we should know we should not do that at the time of eating food nobody should drink any water so you should not consume any water if at all you have the tough to you know swallow any food take one some small you know like gulp so like a you know, sipping small sip you take that's enough one or two small sipping you take it is enough it solve your uh, the hardness in the the throat that's all you need to do while eating the food so remember this now you have finished uh, uh, morning usha pan then after in between one or two glasses over you are taking the breakfast after breakfast give one hour gap then take one more glass before lunch one more glass one hour before lunch one more one more glass ah uh, uh, during lunch no water small was very small quantity of water it's okay before starting you know generally in the golden days what happened before eating the food what used to do so we used to put some water so we'll do like this small water you should take why what is the process that process as simple as this just to uh, smoothen this uh, you know throat that was the methods those are the train ancient methods you can do that also no problem now after this <laughs> lunch is over give one hour gap take one more one more glass of water in between 4 o'clock 5 o'clock you can have juices fruit juice whatever it is you can drink and again night 7 to 8 o'clock dinner one hour before you take one glass of water after 7 to 8 give one hour gap before uh, going to sleep one more glass of water like this uh, around 8 to 10 glasses will you know you will be able to drink in this method so with this what happen your total the proper hydration of the body will happen especially and uh, it is going to be much much beneficial to the body no diseases will come that easily right so that's why this is a method of drinking water my dear friends okay and any time water you are drinking sit comfortably on the floor if you sit much better otherwise on the side, on the chair sit comfortably while while walking while running you should not drink the water number two, number 1 number 2 when you are drinking water also so at a time you cannot sw- swallow the entire water okay sip by sip like a tea coffee what we always say is eat the water drink the drink the food what is that eat the water drink the food this statement remember eat the water means what like we take one sip of water so slowly after that we swallow and then one more one more sip like that so that's something like you know you are eating water drink the food what is the meaning of drink of food that means when you take any food when you, when the food is kept in the mouth you have to chew at least 15 20 times make it as a liquid in the mouth itself in the mouth itself make it as a make it as a liquid after making it as a liquid in the mouth itself then swallow it then what happen 50% digestion is over in the mouth itself remaining 50% that food will travel through esophagus uh, esophagus uh, was uh, this you no know, particular tube then go to the stomach that's a digestion digestion part from so stomach it will go there it will remaining process like 50% digestion will happen in the stomach this is how we need to do okay that's called drinking food okay please remember this so when you are when you are doing when you are properly chewing what happen your saliva saliva has got enzyme okay that enzyme will mix with this particular food so most of your carbohydrates will be carbohydrates will be so digested here itself all the carbohydrates we take now it will be digested here then it will be sent inside otherwise the huge burden will come on the stomach part remember this point now 
friends so this is the way to drink the water method of drinking water now we need to know whether memory the power i mean the uh, this water has got uh, memory power or not yes water has got very good memory power be careful when you are drinking water when you are talking to other people if you use any filthy language negative language negative uh, negative words in front of water what you are drinking and then you are drinking water then it will give negative energy to you because water absorbs all the waves vibrations right any anything you are talking it should be you know like your positive words the great words you should utilize you should use before the water no before drinking or before giving the water to other by scolding you should not give you should never do that okay otherwise say the example go to the temple they give tirtha they give tirtha right so what is the tirtha meaning of tirtha where what happens is the pujari or priest he chant lot of mantras keeping that water inside the garbhagudi then by uh, reciting the lot of mantras what happen that mantra vibration that energies will go into that water it is stored there same water he will give little 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 he will give to the all devotees like okay? we take a tirtha we take a tirtha isn't it so that meaning is that particular water is energized okay with the help of mantra vibrations so that is how it works friends even you also you can try this many times you can try it will work even sridhi sai used to you know he used to uh, give some water and say that okay you use this water your problem will be solved he used to say that how it how it was happening because water has got whatever you say it remember whatever you say in front of water it will remember for example i have some issue okay i want to cure that disease what simple method is take one glass of water keep in the keep in your hand and close your eyes send your energy you, know, you pray you pray water so i am sending my energy so please uh, you know uh, uh, give me the give me proper amount of energy heal my disease like that you know uh, you request it you pray for it you pray for it by keeping the one glass of water in the hand then when you are doing this what happen your entire energy like you, you focus completely on that water as if you are sending some good amount of energy to it then when you drink that water let me tell you the energy of the that water water vibrations will go into the entire each and every cell of the body your disease will be cured or if somebody is not healthy you can do this you know you are uh, chanting before the before the water you can say for example you have gayatri mantra right you chant it before that keeping that then it will be energized give that water to other person with any one mantra you chant and give that water to other person let me tell you it will definitely work wonders my dear friends okay so that is called memory memory of the water remember so now not only this <clears throat> there are other methods also for example water you want to purify so you know this uh, drumstick uh, you know uh, moringa moringa seed that seed if you put into the water the water will become no the in, inside the water any kind of a like a copper how you have placed no along uh, i mean up, along with the copper sheet when you are inserting into water to for the purification please do this also what is that one moringa uh, dry sheet you put into the water along with the copper sheet with these two complete purification lap but next day when you are before you are drinking water what you should do take out that copper sheet remove that uh, that uh, moringa sheet and then use the water this is the best method and other method for example you have one one uh, bottle of water okay you want to convert into as a alkaline water what you need to do take some slices of uh, cucumber put into that for and keep it for one hour one and a half hour then that water become alkaline water you drink it it will give wonderful energy and it is a pure alkaline water your all acidity every problem will be solved not only that if you have agni hotra basma agni hotra ash just take one pinch of agni hotra ash in you know just uh, just uh, keep into the uh, you know drop into the one liter of water that liter of water will be converted as alkaline water if you want you test it in the house always friends keep 2 meters one is tds meter another one is ph meter what is tds meter it will go on measure the tds value what is ph meter ph is also very important with this method of uh, purification your ph value also will be maintained properly what is the ph of uh, water proper drinking water it must be 7 and above 7 7.8 it must be like that if at all anything below 5 6 and all no that is not a that is not a alkaline water it's a acidity water always alkaline water we must drink 
for that you know nowadays what happened big big machines have come lot of money right so there are uh, sophisticated instruments have come the, the especially drinking water supplying water drinking water this has, this has become a big business in the country isn't it so even the all industries and government is focusing on that they are not focusing on the, the easiest methods nobody will teach what we are discussing here understood so always they are focusing on the other business aspects with respect to water nobody is bothered about your health first of all you have to bother about yourself right so please do this keep 2 meters always in the house you measure you order in the amazon you will get in the amazon you order a tds meter one another one is ph meter keep in the house always right so now the other one, one more method for example you have a can of water or a you know one uh, u filter otherwise one one water can on the top of that keep the pyramid like you know the this kind of pyramids you get right so the one by one pyramid uh, this is actually 9 inch by 9 inch like this so pyramids are there no keep the one pyramid on the top of the water so that uh, particular the water will be energized very easily friends very very important remember this point so water energization will happen when you keep the pyramid on the top of the can otherwise a small small uh, pyramid is there small pyramid you can keep on the top of the that particular bottle if you are drinking a bottle no drinking a bottle on the table you keep keep one pyramid on the top of that so that you keep it for 2 hours the water get energized you can drink that kind of water that sort of water isn't it so this is the way to maximize the energy the so called life force what is that life force of the water or what is called vital energy of the water must be amplified before you drink that water that water does wonders for you and it will remove all the ailments from you this is very very important my dear friends so any water you drink nowadays it doesn't have energy life force or energy is lost so we have to energize and take the water again okay so please do this is very very important this is a complete description which i wanted to give with respect to water my dear friends okay now let's go to the other one more technique how do you improve the memory you no know, our uh, so called memory power so there is a very good technique in the uh, acupressor what exactly is that so there is something called memory point which by activating it on a daily basis yourself students uh, employees over it maybe a elders or uh, student over it maybe everybody can activate this point so that your memory power, memory power will be super and uh, see for example you go through all the sessions you want to remember before starting the session you must operate this point and sit in the class okay then you whatever you are listening it will properly store inside so that's how this point works for, for example a student before entering into class right otherwise before study before doing homework sit in the house first operate this point then start the studies okay going to class before going to class operate this point then go to the class isn't it before going to examination operate this and go to the class go to the examination hall like this you must use it you also before going to listen this entire session or any other session attending right operate this point you know while going itself in the when you are traveling or what just go on operate that point then you will get a wonderful memory so why the memory power is lost most of the time when you have less amount of sleep right when you have less amount of sleep your concentration will go first concentration is not there memory will also be lost and many people you know what happen they have a, they have made a habit of sleeping at late night okay that's how the problems are coming all these memory problems are coming remember this okay and also so other people what will happen is many people because of the sleep issues they take tablets that's never going to work it is much much dangerous okay don't do that now so let's operate this point my dear friends so this particular point so why operating it how do you get the memory let me let me show you that uh, point now okay the wonderful point here see two points this point and this point okay this point already i shown you epilepsy epilepsy means uh, pits right so the same point is again press this point release it press keep it for 5 seconds release it press it release it that way 20 times okay do this again here press it release it press it release it press like this release it okay 
So if you do these two points, if you operate, right, your memory power will be super. You can maintain your memory power properly. So this you must be practicing before going to start any session, listening to any session. Okay. Let me conclude this. The very, very important memory power point. Okay. Please activate it on a time to time. So before, uh, you know, before listening to any session, you want to remember properly. Right. So this is uh, one aspect. <clears throat> Next aspect in our uh, session is glucose in the body. My dear friends, glucose in the body. So the glucose part, glucose, how do you understand? What is the glucose and how to maintain the glucose? How much we have to maintain the glucose? Very, very important. Is also glucose is the one which is the imbalance of glucose. The excess of glucose is causing all the disease nowadays. There is no doubt about it. Okay. You take any disease, name any disease. Let me show the root cause for that is the imbalance and excess glucose of the body. That's all what's happening. Okay. Anyway, let's go to the uh, brief history of this glucose. First of all, glucose is the main product, right? So that is, for example, you take uh, the kind of a plant, uh, trees, so crops, so all this, right? So what will happen? There the glucose is the, the glucose will be prepared. How the glucose will be prepared by the plants, all these things. Because we get the glucose from there only. Because we go and eat, uh, uh, you know, grains, uh, cereals, uh, uh, all this, you know, we eat uh, vegetables, uh, fruits, everything we eat from the plants only. But how the plants are going to prepare it? That's very important, right? So how they prepare is, with the help of photosynthesis, my dear friends. What do they do with the help of photosynthesis? So sunlight is required, CO2 required, right? CO2, sunlight, water. These three are required for preparing the this particular glucose. With the help of photosynthesis, they will be so this will be ready. Okay. And uh, especially this glucose, once it is prepared through photosynthesis inside the plants. So what it does is this glucose is helpful to prepare carbohydrates fiber, proteins in the all plants. That means whatever we eat today, nowadays, we eat, you know, carbohydrates, proteins, fiber. These three will be eating from the every plant and even vitamins also. All these are prepared with the help of glucose only. Okay. And glucose is prepared from photosynthesis in the so-called plants. This, this is the, these are basics we need to remember, my dear friends. Okay. Now, when the human beings get you know like uh, human beings uh, how do we get this all this uh, you know so called uh, nutrients when we eat when we eat the plants like in the form of grains vegetables fruits pulses oils in this form we eat from the plants then we get all the nutrients to sufficient to the physical body this is how it's happened right so now so the glucose inside our body how does it prepare when we eat you know any food any food we take right from the plants like so called i told you right grains vegetables pulses and uh, so called fruits oils all this when we when we consume it goes into our body then it will get digest when it is digested what happen the digestion happen right the food gets converted into glucose okay and then that enters into blood stream okay so once it enters into blood stream what happen that uh, glucose plus oxygen is equal to energy to the body that is supplied to every part every very every cell of the body every organ of the body as a energy remember this point okay now so our especially our body has got 5 to 6 liters of the blood in 5 to 6 liters of the blood how much will be the percentage of glucose only we will have 5 to 6 grams of glucose that is the healthy body if anyone is healthy how much is the glucose uh, glucose percentage or the magnitude of the glu quantity of the glucose? Glucose value should be 5 to 6 grams in the 5 to 6 liters of the blood in a normal healthy person. Remember this. right? So, if 1 gram of uh, glucose is present in 1 liter of blood, so it is sufficient for us. But what happens is nowadays because of the non-holistic lifestyle, my dear friends, we are accumulating with, with the help of the food what we take, kind of food what we take. For example, suddenly I go, and, I go and eat sweets. I drink some cold drink. I take cold drink. How much of the, how much amount of sugar will be going inside? Suddenly, remember always, whenever this glucose is glucose glucose is produced inside the stomach, so that means glucose is generated after the digestion, right? So that will be generated 
and it will go into it will go into the blood and mix it so that itself is yes, energy of course is energy physical energy for all the organs right that's right but the way it is produced the glucose it all depends on what type of food you are eating for example you are eating you know uh, a sweets or otherwise uh, carbohydrates this kind of thing the glucose will be generated very fast for example sugar the sugar based or otherwise a rice you eat the rice or wheat a chapati what will happen is that will digest within 20 20 minutes only within 20 minutes it will digest after that what happen the the glucose will be generated suddenly and it will go and mix in the blood stream that's how glucose level will be increased in the in, in your blood okay it is increased is it good or bad but to the extent it's okay but anything going beyond some limit is not good what happens is we need only 5 to 6 grams all the time all the time 5 to 6 grams of the glucose must be present in the blood but what is happening because of every day morning rice afternoon rice evening rice okay morning chapati evening chapati afternoon chapati and also some sweets now and then sweets tea and coffee everywhere tea and coffee especially sugar and milk milk you know in the milk also milk sweets also sugar this sugar especially that uh, will be the moment you take that kind of food no even without digestion also that gets converted into glucose and then di- directly jump into the blood blood stream now with all this what happen let me tell you with all this non holistic lifestyle the way we are taking a food no the percent the amount of glucose going to be increased to such an extent that 150 grams of glucose inside the blood now let me let me ask you a question how do you burn this kind of glucose you are getting more and more because of non holistic food style then how do you burn it you can't burn it because you are sitting across the table and working your mind is working your physical body is not working at all if your physical body is not working burning that much that much amount of glucose is very very tough that is why <clears throat> what happened that excess glucose comes you are not walking you are not doing exercises you are not doing a gardening work you are not going to the machine work you are not going to the uh, you know lifting weight and all these thing then how do you burn it it's very impossible to burn that kind of amount of glucose when you don't burn it what happen if you leave it for some time there is something called liver and pancreas gland these two what they do you know their they duty is okay the presence of glucose is there in the blood for long time he is not using okay he is not using that means we are not giving that kind of work to the physical body they understand then what happen after that they convert the same glucose excess glucose we only need 5 to 6 grams all the time i told you but we have 50 grams 100 grams presence of glucose in the blood then what happen they think that okay it is useless let's do one thing we will store it for the future what do they do they convert this glucose into glycogen packets they go on store in every all the muscles that's good and not only that triglycerides will be generated then also it it also convert the same glucose into excess glucose into cholesterol and that cholesterol will go on deposit in the inner walls of the all the blood vessels including heart vessels or arteries arteries of the heart you know all the blood vessels going to the heart the inside walls will be coated with this particular cholesterol this is called ldl and vdl bad cholesterol okay so now so this will be done and also this same glucose excess glucose will be converted into fats okay that fat will be stored you know around the around the waist that means around the hip or thighs around the thighs somehow and to the stomach everywhere that will be pasted that extra that extra fats will be pasted with this what happen you know now you will become obesity right obesity now when the this particular cholesterol is pasted in the inner walls of the you know artery walls what happen the artery walls will become thin because of this cholesterol is pasted inside the inner walls of the all the blood vessels now in this case when the blood vessels become thin what happen the blood flow will be difficult when the blood flow is difficult what happen then the pressure of the the pressure of the heart will be increased that's called high bp that's how the high bp comes okay now not only that the the heart also will not get proper amount of oxygen and glucose because of the thinness you know the blood vessels are becoming thinner thinner and thinner as the glucose is increasing okay that's what because of the cholesterol is pasted inside now other thing is not only this diabetes will come if anybody get cancer that will never be cured 
because of this condition of uh, excessive glucose, excessive fat, excessive cholesterol, it never is going to be that kind of ailments will never be solved. So this is how friends what happened, we have to come out of this particular condition, understand. So please do that. How do we do? How do we how do we make sure that you know, we eat proper food so that we'll be able to come out of this very simple. Always, always remember. <clears throat> so particularly, we need to consume fiber rich foods like millets, java godi, understand? No, no more excessive rice. Rice also you can eat in a, in a week, one or two times. Remaining, you have to replace that main food, main course of food with the millets or java godi. Otherwise, so so-called finger millet, that's a ragi, ragi, right? Bajra. So the rotis, we make it. With the, along with that, of course, you can uh, this uh, all the vegetables and all the it's okay. Not only that, so in the three three times of a meal, see for example, what we say, what we say one statement is: if you are eating three times, you are a rogi. If you are eating two times, you are a bogi. If you are eating one time, you are a yogi. Okay. So in that case, in the three times, in the night time, maximum, maximum to maximum, try to avoid the food and go with the natural food. That's the best way of you know treating yourself, keeping yourself healthy and hail all the time okay so it's very very important remember this and uh, you know <clears throat> always try to maintain this one group one gram per one liter of what uh, milk uh, one one gram of glucose for one liter of uh, blood inside your you know inside your uh, body that is very very important you can maintain that by eating this kind of food style so the food style what i told you the main course of food you change it and uh, one time compulsory the natural food, two times only the cooked food, that's also okay. And uh, in between juices and all. So always go with the, some natural kind of food. Okay. And uh, avoid all these ex excessive carbohydrates, excessive carbs like rice and wheat must be avoided. Avoided means in the if you have you know a habit of taking in a week, you can take one time or two times. That's enough. Remaining millets, especially millets. Uh, not every day also, millets also, one day, then alternate day, like that. And uh, you can, you know, uh, two days uh, millet, two days uh, brown rice. Rice also, you don't need to take polished rice. Take a brown rice, some kind of a raw rice, you take that. There is some fiber in that. Husk is there, no? In the husk, some fiber is there. Take like that. More vegetables, more fruits. With this all thing, what happened? You can reduce the amount of glucose in the, in the blood so that it will be able to come out of many, many diseases, my dear friends. Okay. This is what the glucose picture. So the, uh, you know, the concept of uh, glucose and very, very important. Please follow that. And next thing is, next item. Mudra for curing the back pain. Okay. The wonderful mudra. So this mudra, let me teach you. This work like an injection. Lower back pain, my dear friends. For the lower back pain, this is a wonderful mudra. Let's know how to practice it now. Very simple. Anybody suffering from in the lower lower of the your spinal column that means uh, l1 l2 l3 l4 that particular you know pain many people will suffering many people are suffering nowadays and they go to doctors orthopedics so it may not solve in fact by taking injection tablet nothing will happen okay it will aggravate and it will lead to some other issues uh, uh, especially operations it is not at all going to work see any part of the body we get a disease why do we get it so we have discussed many times. We have physical body, we have pranic body. It's called etheric body or a pranic body. This supplies the pra prana shakti to this physical body. If at all, in the pranic in the prana pranic body, in the circuit, any particular, you know, any particular nadi got some blocks, you know, the, the energy flow from top to bottom through that nadi is hap hap not happening. Anywhere there is a block that becomes a disease in the physical body. Remember this. If you remove that block, okay, with the proper block, this the proper block, the so-called the prana shakti or pranic force, then once you remove that block, the disease will evaporate. The disease will go from the physical body. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> now, with the help of uh, whenever you have a back pain, you know, lower back pain is what? In that part, there are some blockages, energy blocks are there. That is why you get a pain. How do you remove that? So we have Methods of acupressure, methods of mudra therapy, you can use marma therapy, you can do a lot of methods. And otherwise, go into the deep meditation if you are if you are able to, if you are sustained, if you are able to sustain that pain, sit in the meditation, deep, go into deep, deep meditation, it will definitely solve. That's also one method. 
somehow whatever it may be that energy blocks must be removed that is that is the way you create a permanent chikitsa permanent therapy permanent cure for any disease in our physical body okay don't depend on temporary all the temporary kind of a uh, reliefs and uh, all these things go with this permanent relief okay now this mudra you see here it's called back pain mudra mutugu mudra the name the other name is mutugu mudra how to practice see here so in the left hand this uh, particular uh, you know index finger touch here touch here and close it so where it touch here in the thumb the center point center center line touch here and close it and other three fingers straight in the left hand this is left hand and keep it like this on the thigh right hand see here right hand what you need to do is it is like this so the two fingers that means uh this little finger middle finger and thumb finger touch like this other two fingers straight so that means like this you touch this three three finger other two two fingers straight like this keep like this keep on your thighs so believe it or not this mudra i practice 5 minutes 10 minutes when you are sitting across computer and all people who are sitting across computer they get this pain most of the times sitting and working sedentary lifestyle okay they will solve this uh, you know their problem within 5 minutes it works like a more than like injection let me tell you you teach anybody or you practice you will understand okay after this mudra prana mudra 5 minutes practice prana mudra so then your back pain lower back pain is taken care no need to worry at all okay now so for the acupressure so of course there is a uh, in acupressure acupressure also there is a back pain points are there back, back pain points what are those points remember friends so for the back pain lower back pain so there is something called lumbar point lumbar point on the back side both the hands here is the point for example this wrist is there no on the wrist exactly on the wrist this point center this point you can keep pressing if at all you have a back pain here center okay so particularly so in the wrist center you can keep pressing here so this point we go on press it so this point will remove your lower back pain along with the mudra this also you can use it and any any normal back pain for example any back pain for example so not only lower or upper whatever there is a very good points in the acupressure this is all the th- all the tips the tips of the point, tips of the four fingers must be pressed properly and also here this is a hip point anybody is having a this so called hip you know uh, hip or the hip level pain that also here one point this point okay press it properly first four points these four points other point is this called hip point straight this uh, little finger straight here the joint in this corner is called hip point okay hip point keep on pressing it so this will resolve the back pain let me tell any back pain and also here see here this uh, this particular uh, junction to this side complete side here okay this is, this is actually backbone any backbone issue go on press it like this like this okay so with this you can resolve the back pain my dear friends okay this is wonderful techniques you use it now the one more other technique we are going to learn today is enema enema i told you already so it must be practiced 7 to 21 days right any uh, healthy person also you can do minimum 7 days unhealthy person can practice 21 days is the best detoxification process it will cleans up your colon colon area and uh, you can use the normal temperature room temperature your body temperature of water you don't need to use any kind of a chemical for uh, the so called enema enema will be some, something like you know one kit one kit is available okay so using that kit uh, you can get outside in the medical medical store get that kit so you have clear i think you know like uh, that enema kit uh, will show you how to practice that enema it's very very simple okay so let me show you that enema kit uh, so you can get that point understand
right see here this will be one enema tank okay the enema tank it will be like this enema tank and uh, there is a one tube also okay for the enema tube enema tank to fill the water to fill the water and uh, then so one side you will be inserting in this side the other side there is a other side there is a one more end this will go into the anus that means the rectum rectum it will be inserted okay so this what you, you have to sit in the toilet and then go on operate then you can uh, fill the water you can go on press it here one nozzle will be there the nozzle also will be there if you keep pressing like this if you keep pressing like this the water will be pumping inside okay so this kit will be available you can try to get it okay so this is enema kit my friends so with the help of this what happens is water so if you are keep on pressing that nozzle uh, you know with the insertion of like about 10 uh, 10 cm 3 inch that one nozzle will be there it will be inserted into the rectum so after inserting it then you have to keep on press the nozzle then water will be going inside the full water tank the tank small tank need to be vacated and once it goes inside stop that keep it aside sit near to the toilet within some 10 minutes the entire whatever is there in the the colon or the large intestine it will plus out okay so this way morning and evening you can keep practicing so very very beneficial friends this uh, enema is not easy so understand so that's the process you need to follow the the purpose of cleaning you know the purpose of cleansing enema is gently to empty the colon okay and the enema removes all toxins, waste, heavy metals from your body and improve your skin also. And immunity power will be increased, blood pressure will be reduced, energy levels will be increased and it, it causes for the weight loss also. So constipation, fatigue, headaches and backaches, everything will be removed and you will be relieved from with the help of cleaning, uh, you know, this cleansing enema. Please understand this. So this is the wonderful technique, my dear friends. Okay. So with this, so we have discussed almost all the techniques which I want to teach you, the part of Holistic Lifestyle 3. My dear friends, thank you so much. Namaste. Taneva. Now, the question answers for next uh, few minutes. Then uh, we'll be closing the session. The last, uh, the last today. But of course, uh, <clears throat> it has taken more time also. But few of, few of, few of uh, you are here right now. You can share your 21 days experience in a few words. So, I will expect that, you know, to share your experience and the journey of your uh, 21 days, uh, I'll give the unmute for all of you. So just just uh, go on talk. Starting with the Indra Indra Niji. Right. You can unmute uh, Indra Niji. Yeah. Uh, Everybody namaste. take two two minutes. We have only eight minutes now. Yes. Namaste, sir. Always I am namaste. grateful to you and the Mahavata Foundation also. Uh, I Today I sharing my experience in uh, which I learned in sixth batch from. Uh, in uh, March 2004, suddenly I got uh, thyroid. I feel some problem. And uh, when I tested my blood, I got thyroid problem. Uh, firstly, uh, hypothyroid. And then after uh, one month, uh, hyperthyroid I am suffering. Uh, doctor <laughs> give me uh, thyroid 25, but I don't to get interested to getting medicine. So I <clears throat> uh, followed uh, the practice of mudra and holistic lifestyle and drinking daily tulsi kasaya, which I learned in six beds. <laughs> Oh, and for, uh, strictly uh, followed holistic lifestyle, sir. Uh, every morning I got morning work 45 minutes and mudra therapy, pranayama, uh, and yoga also, which I learned in six beds. And after three months, now I <coughs> fully cured in thyroid, sir. Very well. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> wonderful. wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's and, well. sir, Sir, in that time, I fully <clears throat> trust the holistic lifestyle and meditation and yoga also. I uh, I think I am not alone. Don't I don't uh, get medicine. I only taking this, I will uh, always <clears throat> cure. 
and this believe I now I am fully cured, sir. Excellent. Fully cured. And uh, that's why I uh, want to say my friends and masters. So please uh, strictly follow the holistic lifestyle which uh, I learned in, in 21 days and past uh, we, uh, all batches. So I uh, uh, heartily requested my friend to follow the holistic lifestyle and uh, also doing meditation. I also doing meditation, try to don't skip meditation. I also doing meditation twice a time daily. And um, uh, I, I feel better rather than other years, I feel. And I hope day by day I am going to a, a spiritual wisdom and I am going to a astral masters. I hope. Right. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So I request all of you masters here. We're all here. So try to promote this next batch. We are already started. Before you joining, make sure others are also joining. Okay. Others also get benefited. Do some do some propagation of this program and uh, make sure that your friends and well wishers, everybody joining here. No, you have to take initiative. You, you, some people have to come forward as a volunteers to the Mother Foundation. See, this yes. is a, a what batch? 11th batch. We are going to the 12th batch. You can imagine 11 batches we completed. How many thousands of people we trained in this, right? So, we have to make sure more people are coming onto the Zoom. No, they are listening through YouTube. It's okay. But coming to the Zoom and directly participating will benefit more, right? Okay. So, for that, I request some of you, you can, my admin number is there. You can message me. We're all interested to work as a volunteers for the foundation. We take okay. your help and spread this and we'll have some works also. See, whenever, you know, we should not in your life, every time taking is not the good thing. Giving, you know, we should learn to give more and more as I explained in the previous classes, right? So, you yes. should learn to give more and more. That means, giving means you are sharing your wisdom, sharing your joy with others. So, that's why, Foundation is always ready. So work for the foundation as a volunteer. You have taken good amount of education. So then you decide to join as a volunteer. Keep on working with us. Okay? Be in contact with us. See what happened now. You learn and then you will go. And Mother Foundation again, you know, start other classes. So be in, be in touch. Do the, serve, do the seva, do the service. Yes. That is going to give you much more back. Okay. So let's do that. Now, let's hear to the... Thank you, Sir, Simon. Mm. Sir, uh, one thing I say. Uh, I think Mahavatar Foundation is the best gift for me from the universe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Yes, Simaji. Simaji. Yeah, sir. Uh, it was a nice experience I had. Very good dhyana we did in this session. And plus, you know, one thing uh, is that like we are all are from, you know, we are become like, become a family. Though we are belonging to different places, still, you know, we become right. a family. <laughs> so right. that is a nice experience. And learning is, you know, we have learned a new way of looking at life. Right. Absolutely. So that is really I want to appreciate, Matla. Yeah. It's totally a new way of, you know, looking at life now. Right. And yes. definitely... Uh, I will try to volunteer and all, right? Yes. Definitely, I will help. Thank you, sir. Uh, we thank request you. all of you to join as a volunteer. Go on, spread yeah, this message. Yeah, okay, thank yeah. you. Thanks, thanks, sir. Yes, Rudra, Rudrani. Unmute, unmute. Uh, my experience, uh, I liked the 21 days. I definitely took a lot of notes and I learned a lot. I probably can't comment it any more classes because of school but maybe next year during the summer if there's any program i will attend i just like waking up at like nine o'clock but the um meditation and spiritual learning was great and i like it so yeah. great great wonderful continue the meditation follow the holistic lifestyle always be healthy be happy be joyful okay again we can meet on september 1st onwards and yeah. so make yeah. sure you, you spread this to maximum people. Make sure more people are joining along with you. They also get benefit. So let's all work as a volunteers for the foundation. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. And what about others? Uh, anybody want to speak here? Preeti, Preeti ji, Sangeeta ji, please at least last day show your uh, the darshan. So let me let me have some darshan of you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yes. Sangeeta ji, two, a, few, a few words from you. 
अनमिट I think it's not getting unmuted. Okay, let's go to the Sunita ji. Sunita, unmute please. Yeah, you can unmute. Already given unmute. So wonderful session, sir. I'm suffering from uh, menopausal stage now. I'm okay. suffering from anxiety and uh, all. I I didn't attend that twenty one days. I attended uh, hardly nine uh, to ten days. Uh, mm. but uh, i my symptoms are come down mm. so it's very helpful to me sir very good so let's spread this more and more okay yes okay. you already got the link so send the link to all the other people hmm? okay sir. thank right. you very much thank you thank you and uh, yes preeti ji preeti can you unmute Uh, good evening, good evening, sir. Good evening. So, so you are darshan. So you are darshan. Ma, final day. At least. <laughs> <laughs> are you able to switch on your uh, video? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, please. Tell me. Sir, I am very grateful to you, and uh, thanks a lot for such a great session. I have great knowledge from you. I have gained such a great knowledge from you. You are an amazing teacher. And uh, you are very inspiring and motivating to us. So I am very, very grateful, and I will join your next session also. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much. We all must be there. We must celebrate every day, and we must spread this message to all the people also. That's why to the admin number, please message yeah. your number and keep in touch with us. Keep in touch with us to work more and more. Spread this message to more and more people. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Who else? Anybody is uh, here? Some more masters from the English session. Already the masters from Telugu session are joining here. So anyway, we'll have uh, we'll end it by another two three minutes. Any more uh, masters from English session want to share their uh, final message? Sangeeta, madam. Yes. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Um, my gratitude to you and Matar Foundation because after joining the sessions, the life is totally different now. Uh, the way of life and um, the way of thinking and uh, uh, the way uh, to tackle every situation is totally different. So, uh, my when I joined, my sugar was for near about four hundred and. Through this meditation and plus yoga and uh, all this lifestyle changing, uh, my uh, sugar is now normal. Very good. I uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I keep this uh, checkup in between, and uh, also earlier like lots of question I used to have, uh, which actually after joining this, after listening your all this wisdom and uh, by starting this reading books different. Uh, different books though I am very slow in reading uh, but uh, I started reading also after uh, uh, joining your sessions and uh, very nice I am very blessed I am uh, grateful and my gratitude to universe by for giving this opportunity I also joined the Hindi session also uh, and that is also like uh, very nice masters are taking uh, and I am very blessed to meet Actually, this whole concept is well, totally new for me. Uh, so my gratitude, no words, I cannot express anything. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is the beginning. Lots of things I need to learn now also improve. Slowly, slowly, I am trying my best. And this is uh, some good work of mine. Uh, the teacher like you, I got. Uh, that is a big blessing. I show my gratitude to Thank each you. and every soul and all the masters and universe, everyone. Thank you, Guruji. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So any more, any more, one more master, anybody is uh, pending here. You want to speak, you want to express from English session, please do that. Then we will be closing the session for these 21 days. This is the last day. Right. <laughs> JSC.
okay so if these are i mean if nobody nobody is there then we will be closing session for one more person it's there's a chance you want to speak right so okay masters thank you so much for joining the session and traveling with me this 21 days spiritual journey thank you so much for all of you for joining thank you, sir. and we have the same journey starting from september 1st thank you so much thank you sir. waiting for that namaste dhanyawad